Someone suffers from a stroke every 40 seconds. In the US alone, it is currently the fifth leading cause of death and the leading cause of disability. This means that although more patients are surviving strokes, their quality of life often decreases through both motor and cognitive deficits. Currently, there's only one FDA-approved treatment for stroke, but it has a narrow window to administer the drug, and it increases your risk of bleeding in the brain. Diabetes increases your risk of stroke. I bet most people here know somebody who has diabetes. Imagine if they were to have a stroke. They would more than likely have a worse outcome than if they didn't have diabetes to begin with. A blood, uh, a stroke occurs when the blood flow to the neurons, which is critical for energy, is stopped or interrupted. So my research is looking at the blood vessels in diabetes in the brain and how this might contribute to worse stroke outcome. Previous studies in my lab have shown that there's an increase in blood vessels in early diabetes, which you can see prominently by these green blood vessels on my slide. Now, you might think this would be a good thing, more blood vessels might mean more flow. But like a house without a solid foundation, these vessels lack the integrity needed to function properly. The combination of stroke and diabetes leads to a loss of blood vessels, increased bleeding in the brain, and subsequent cognitive impairment. My research is looking at expanding to an area of the brain critical to learning and memory. It's called the hippocampus. Not only have I found these same changes to the blood vessels in the brain, but I also see an increase in death of the neurons, which is so critical to this region. Since inflammation has been implicated in both diabetes and stroke, I'm looking at how this might be, play a role in, in the blood vessel changes and worsen stroke outcome. Using an inhibitor that targets a specific inflammatory protein, we're able to show improvements in cognition as early as two weeks after stroke in diabetic rats. I'm currently trying to look do the blood vessels recover better? Is there less death of the neurons? This has implications for new treatments in stroke, especially in diabetic patients who risk bleeding more with the only treatment available to them. So think about it. Stroke can happen to anyone. Isn't it time that we find better treatments? Thank you. <laughs>